Hello and welcome to the latest Rider Pilates session. It's a hard upper body uh, training session this time. This is going to be a really good session for anybody who is working their horse at a higher level in any of the disciplines. It's going to help you achieve that independence of contact and that nice, light, secure contact that we really all need for the benefit of ourselves, but particularly the benefit of our horses. So I would like you, before you start working properly, to make sure that your body is really set up correctly as aligned as possible before you get going. So sitting here, I'd like you to make sure that your shoulders are level, that your spine feels like it's made of elastic, and you've got equal weight through your seat bones. Then you're going to start by tucking in with your chin, give yourself as many double chins as you can, and keep that double chin as you turn to the side and keep your double chin as you turn to the other side. Hopefully no one's watching you so it doesn't matter about how many double chins you've got. The important thing is that you've gone straight back and you're not looking down or up but you're straight back. And that way your eyes are staying level as you do those turns. Okay, let's relax through your neck and we're going to do a little mermaid to stretch and lengthen. So one hand onto the floor beside you as you take your other arm over your head and feel that lengthening as you go. We're going to go to the same side. I'd like you to try to keep your seat bones equally on the floor so you're not coming off the floor, but your seat bone pressure stays really equal as you go. Let's do one more to that side. Okay, then we're going to go over to the other side. So hand down into that stretch and lengthen. Keeping your seat bone pressure nice and equal. Let's do one more. Good, big stretch and lengthen, but pressing those seat bones into the floor. Okay, we're going to go down onto your front and we're going to start off doing your breaststroke exercise. So we're going to go straight in with the full version of this. You want to start with your hands underneath your head. Try to feel that your tummy is gently lifting away from that imaginary puddle of water underneath you. What we're really trying to avoid as you go into this exercise is arching through your back and your feet coming off the floor. That just fixes you through your low back and encourages you to brace through your glutes muscles. So hands under your head. Bring your tummy away from that imaginary puddle of water. Pelvic floor is onto floor three. Lift and lower. Now I appreciate I'm in the grass, so it does make it a little bit hard to see, but your lift is really two, maybe three centimetres at most. If you're coming up here, you're bracing and hinging through your low back. Be a bit small. You're then going to stay there as you bring your arms round and back in as you then go down. So lift, hold that lift as you bring your arms round in that breaststroke type movement, and then down. Still trying to feel that your tummy is staying away from that imaginary puddle of water so you're not sinking down, but keeping relaxed through your bottom and through your legs as you do it. Try to remember to breathe as well, if you possibly can. Easier said than done, I do appreciate. Let's do one more. Super job. Okay, we are now going to pop up onto your forearms and we're going to start off with your leg pull. So you want to be looking at your hands, pelvic floor onto floor three as you lift your pelvis and slowly back down. Keep your upper body still as you go into that lift and lower. So you're avoiding dipping down through your head. You can make it harder which is what the aim of this session is, by tucking your toes underneath and you can then lift your pelvis, lift your knees, lower your knees, lower your pelvis or lift knees and pelvis together and lower them together. So you've got two different options for that toes under version. I'm hoping you're going to go for the full on version but you do need to work with what your back is comfortable doing and for some people I know, myself included some days, this position with your toes tucked under your feet just puts too much pressure on your low back and you need to do the flat, the flat foot version. So 
so whichever one you're doing you're looking for that smooth controlled lift and lower always keeping your upper body very still watch that you stay breathing so you're not bracing as you go into that lift and if possible the pelvic floor is also staying on floor three okay we're going to go onto your side and we're going to start off with the side bend so you need to have your body in that capital L position straight line from shoulders pelvis to knees top arm resting onto your top side pelvic floor onto floor three start off just get your brains in gear apologies my head's just moving into the sun just lifting and lowering that's quite easy so then add to the challenge by keeping that top leg floated as you go and then you can make that harder by straightening the top leg as you take the arm over your head as well so you're now synchronizing the arm the leg and the pelvis so really what you don't lift and then do the arms and legs arm and leg you want to be really coordinating the whole movement so that's part of the challenge it's not just that you're really working that shoulder that you are weight bearing on a lot of this challenge is about the coordination synchronizing all those movements and keeping them smooth okay we're going to come up into sort of a half sitting position to do the side twist you want to have your bottom leg bent on the mat like mine is your top leg bent with your knee pointing upwards and your top foot in front of your bottom foot bottom hand as far away from you as feels comfortable the taller you are the further away your arm needs to be top hand resting onto your top knee and this is mind over matter you're going to push through your top foot onto your bottom hand and back down so it's that push and lower so your shoulder of your bottom hand is probably a little bit tired already because we just did some of those side bends that was the point so you want to be able to control yourself even when you're getting tired think how it feels at the end say on a hot day you're on two dressage tests you're getting tired the horse is getting tired you still want to know that you've got control you still through your upper body and your contact think how you feel towards the end of a cross-country course you're getting tired horse is getting tired let's make that the last one you still want to feel that you have got full control over what your upper body is up to let's swap and go to the other side we'll start off once again with your side bend straight line for your capital L position pelvic floor onto floor three and we're starting off nice and easy synchronizing lifting the arm and the pelvis then we'll make it harder by taking the top leg away and then harder still by adding in that nice little straightening with the leg. So we're looking to keep everything very graceful, riding, unless you're having one of those sticky moments cross country where you just gotta go, go for it horse, or sitting tight. Riding, we do want to try and be graceful. The horses are graceful. We want to be graceful, smooth, elegant, coordinated, controlled, and that's what you're practicing here. last one okay then we're going to come up into that sort of semi sitting position same setup so your bottom leg is bent on the floor top leg is bent with the knee sticking up top foot in front of bottom foot bottom hand as far away from you as you can get it to go comfortably without obviously going splat um, top hand onto your top knee go for it with the brain pushing the top foot onto the bottom hand and back down so this is really so much about confidence. I was teaching this to my groups last night and it's so it's wonderful to see how people they sit there looking at me thinking I'm never going to be able to do that and I say just go for it trust yourself and there's usually one side that is much harder to do your weaker side now it may be that you've got a shoulder that really struggles with taking your weight or it may be that you're weak on one leg and when you try to push through that leg nothing happens so this is a really good exercise for highlighting those little differences that you thought maybe you'd ironed out. Not quite. Last one. Okay, we're going to go into your hands and knees. And I'd like you, toes underneath your feet, hands just in front of your shoulders. If you can, pelvic floor onto floor three. Lift your knees. You're going over into your plank position, back over your knees and down. So lift over into that plank position back over your knees and down you can stay doing that one if you want to but I'd like to make it a bit harder if you can 
So once you get into that position, you're going to lift one arm, come back down, lift the other arm, come back down. Now you can have a breather, or you can be crazy like me and carry on going. I'm not going to do hundreds of these. These are hard, so if you're already getting a bit tired, but that was the point of this session. One more with each arm. Okay, come back over your knees and down. It's always important to do that controlled finish. Even if you're getting tired, think about your transitions on the horse. You want them to be controlled even when you're tired. So make sure you do the same with yourself when you're training. Okay, you're going to sit with your legs out in front of you and your hands behind you. Ideally, if you can, so I'm doing that the wrong way, with your fingers pointing in towards your bottom. You can do it with your fingers pointing out to the side, but pointing behind you makes this very, very awkward because we're going to do your tricep dips. Again, with this one, you want your hands away from you, but underneath you makes it really, really hard to do because your weight is going behind your hands. So to start off with, we can do a few warm-up ones with your bottom on the floor, just bending your elbows. And then see, can you go up through your pelvis and then do some from here. Now you want to be really careful, really strict. Make sure you're bending your elbows and not just lifting and lowering your pelvis. This is all about the elbows bending, your triceps run down from your shoulders to your elbows down the back of your arm. Two more. Okay, bring your bottom back down and let's have you back up into sitting. If you're not comfortable cross-legged, Sit however feels comfortable for you. Okay, just chill. Let's have some nice big shoulder rolls up, back and down. It's important, if you have worked really hard in the session, just the same as if you were going to go and give your horse a free walk on a long rein, that is what you need to do with your body when you come to the end. Okay, then bring one arm up and across, put your hand above the elbow, give yourself a gentle stretch. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side, so up and across. Unless, for some reason, obviously you know that you shouldn't do this, in which case please don't. Okay, then bring your hands together, push your hands forwards and reach up. And come back down. And again, forwards. Reach up. Come back down. We need to do one more, so reach forwards. Up. and then bring your hands back down and focus before you finish making sure you've got equal weight back through your seat bones breathing into the base of your lungs an elastic spine and soft shoulders and that'll do for this time well done if you've done all of those great job that was hard it was meant to be hard you want to have that cardio side of things you want to have that real hard work going on because that's how it's going to be towards the end of that cross country run towards the end of your if you've got several horses towards the end of your sixth or seventh dressage test of the day you want to know that your body is still able to carry on doing what you want it to do even when you're tired well done thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed already please do so and also please share these videos if you find them helpful um, look after yourselves and i'll see you very soon